Hi everybody, welcome back to Mando Lessons. In today's lesson we're going to work on the great old time tune chinkapin hunting. Um, this is a, there's a couple chinkapin huntings. Um, this is the one that's in A that has three parts and is a little bit crooked. Um, I'll play through it once and then break it down into parts. Uh, try to learn it by ear, but if you do need help, there are tabs in standard notation as well as play along tracks over at the website mandolessons.com. I also put out a new lesson every Thursday, um, so check that out. There's always new lessons coming out, so feel free to subscribe on YouTube or sign up for the mailing list at mandolessons.com. There's also a couple ways to donate, which is always appreciated. That said, my lessons will always be free. Uh, so once again, chinkapin hunting, key of A major. Play through it once, and then break it down into sections. All right, here we go. There it is, three short parts. Um, I'll break it down. So the first, uh, first part, the A part, starts on the open E string. Sounds like this. Let's do that again. Again. One more time. And then it does that phrase again. So those two together sound like this. The third phrase. Do that again. One more time. Put those three phrases together, sounds like this. Alright, and the last phrase of the A part is um, a little bit long, so it sounds like this. So it starts from the uh, fifth fret of the E string. And again. Two more times. One more time. All right, so that last phrase with the other three that we've learned sounds like this from the beginning of the A part. One, two, three. Four. Again.
that makes it crooked because that last phrase um, is a little long it's now what is called a crooked tune all right let's move on to the B section the B section starts with this nice little rhythmic idea um, sounds like I'll fit the first two measures sound like this And just, it's helpful to think about pick direction for this. It's going to be down, up, down, down, up, down. Let's do that again. And again. And then the next phrase. Again. And again. <clears throat> so putting those three phrases together, <coughs> excuse me. So that right there um, proves to me that I was playing that first part a little too fast. You know, there aren't so many notes in that first section, but it, uh, it speeds up once you get into that next phrase. So let's do that a little bit slower. One, two, three, four. All right, and then the last phrase, just to finish it off, and it'll all become more clear when you put it all together. Starting in the open E string. All right, so those that whole B section sounds like this. So those first notes, kind of syncopated sound, it's for the music readers out there, it's um, dotted quarter notes. Or dotted quarter, dotted quarter, quarter, dotted quarter, dotted quarter, quarter. <laughs> it's kind of a mouthful. Um, so, and people will play that part different ways. You know, you can, you can fill it in with all downs and ups. Um, but I, I really like that kind of slowed down. Bah, 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 bah. And that's a good place, you know, if you're having trouble with the rhythm there. Um, try out the play along tracks over at the website. Those will help you kind of get that in the pocket. All right, but let's uh, move on to the third section. Um, actually, let's do this. Let's play the first two sections together. Um, so the first section do that. One, two, three, four. third section. Again, starting on the second fret of the E string. Two more times. One more. And then the second phrase. Let's 
Second phrase again. One more. And then one open E string to either take you back to the top of the C section or to take you top back to the A section. So let's loop the B section twice. It's going to sound like this. One, two, three, four. etc. So that's the whole tune. Um, I'll play through it now all the way through. So it's A, A, B, B, C, C. Um, and we'll move on from there. So uh, from the top, one, two, three, four. a little mix up but that was going back to the top at the end there so uh, uh, sorry one more time there the, let's play the C part one more time transition back into the A one two three four Um, so just having that kind of doubling up on that open E to end the C section and get back to the A. So that's the whole tune. Um, I'll play it through one more time just so you can kind of hear it a little more up to speed. Again, if you need help with any of the sections, the uh, tabs, standard notation, and play along tracks are over at the website along with a bunch of other material. Um, one thing I should note, note is that um, fiddle players, for the most part, playing this tune are going to tune their fiddles to A E A E. Um, if you're interested in finding that sound, I have a lesson on cross tuning or creating alternate tunings on the mandolin um, at mandolessons.com. But I tend to just play tunes, so this would be re referred to as a cross tune um, or a cross A tune um, for fiddle players, but I tend to just play tunes that fiddle players play in cross A. I play them in standard tuning. I don't recommend tuning up the mandolin to A, um, bringing the G's all the way up to A and the D's all the way up to E can be a little rough on a mandolin versus a fiddle. So if you want to learn how to get to that tuning that fiddle players use, um, check out that uh, cross tuning lesson over at the website. Um, I will also, in the next lesson, be teaching this tune in the lower octave. So it's the same melody, but it'll just be down here. So if you want to learn it down low, it's a nice um, lower sound to have. Check out the next lesson. All right, so uh, I'll play it one more time just so you can get a sense of how I like to play this. Maybe throw in some double stops, um, throw in some maybe extra notes or rhythms here and there. If you want to learn how to do those sort of things, check out the website. There's lots of information on spicing up tunes over there. Thanks so much for watching. And here we go. Chickabin hunting, key A major.
Thanks so much for watching. Hope to see you again soon. Bye-bye.